the minister out of Germany essentially suggesting that we could have um, more people contributing to the war effort when it comes to Ukraine. Privately at the Munich Security Conference, there is a lot of discomfort among Western leaders about the amount of money and also how long they can keep it up, plus the ability to get the weapons to that country that they need. But in your mind, A, it's a question about money, no? And it's also a question about strategic advantage. I think it's to a large extent at the moment also a question of more concretely ammunition. Uh, there's a shortage of ammunition on the Ukrainian side. I think there's a problem on the Russian side as well. So I think you will see further European efforts, primarily also American, to beef up the production of ammunition to make it possible for the Ukrainians to sustain their defensive fights than the other types of weaponry. Then there is a need to help the Ukrainian state to function with a couple of billion dollars every month. I think that will happen. I'm not that nervous. I think European and American support will hold up. Um, and uh, then let's hope that we can bring the conflict to a rather speedy conclusion. Uh, so far, it's been a massive strategic failure uh, from the Kremlin and from the Putin point of view. And I hope that uh, the recognition, the realization of that sinks into in Moscow over time. Prime Minister, can President Putin survive this war that he has started? Will his regime last this? Good question. Uh, my basic answer would be no. Um, but uh, if we were to follow on the question of when will we see something happening, I don't know. I mean, Putin has stakes his entire political future on winning this particular war and getting rid of Ukraine de facto. Um, that's not going to happen. He will fail with that particular objective. It will come at a huge price, economic and political price, to Russia and to the future of Russia. The question is, when will that become apparent to everyone around him in Moscow? Not only that he's not winning, it's been a strategic failure so far, that it really risks sort of creating huge damage, uh, huge negative effects to the future of Russia itself. That's the big, big question to which we don't know an answer. But I think we can be fairly certain of the direction of which, in which things are heading. 